What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another shotgun and fun day in the world of Final Station. My name is Splattercat, and we need to find ourselves another blocker code. We've got an empty locker, some screws, and some food. We got plenty of shotgun shells. We definitely got a lot of pistol rounds. Go to David's second facility. This is urgent. I would assume there's a lot of urgent commands running around at the moment, given how chaotic the world seems to be. That door was way too loud for me. I did not like that at all. That made so much noise. If you think I'm just gonna like sit here and let you chew on me, my short friend, it's just not going to go down like that. And I'm sorry that I have to constantly appeal to your stature when it comes to searching for insults, but it's all that I've got and I'm an unoriginal man. Yeah, let's just back up and spam punches. How about that? I'm sure that'll work out okay. There we go. And so I need him, like, right there. We'll back up slightly. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Well, he's down. I don't like wasting ammo on those guys, but they're really, as long as there's nothing to throw, it doesn't seem like you've got much of an option. Huh. It's going to be problematic to deal with. There we go. It's got to punch him in the ankles until he falls over. We got to do this the old fashioned way. I'm a short guy. That's how we fight. We just gnaw on your ankles until you fall over. And then we claim our victory. I am the winner. I should probably use a med kit. But I don't know. Oh man, that explosion hurt me too. Fine, we will use a med kit. I don't want to use a med kit, but we'll absolutely use a med kit because we have to. All these ridiculous camp locations are rough. Can I go behind the train? Is that possible? Because it kind of looked to me like he went behind it. Oh, I can go behind the trains too. Okay. So that clears it up a little bit better. That makes this a tad of a bit more manageable. Can I knock his chest piece off if I just, like, keep working on him? Or is he, like, one of those mobs that you just have to have a bullet in order to put him down? Looks like you have to have a bullet in order to drop him. So we put a lot of damage on that guy, enough to kill just about everything else in the game. That's right. I'm just going to keep punching while I move along. i got to get my practice in. It's a rough world we live in. Ain't no... I see skies of blue. Ain't none of that out here. There are no skies of blue. There are no happy songs. No one goes, and I think to myself. Nobody nobody does that out here. Ow! My ass! How come he died with two shots and some of them died with one? Oh, it's got to be the headshots, but the headshots don't seem to work sometimes. Wait, have these been readable the entire time? If I'm missing out on lore, I feel bad. No, it doesn't look like that one's readable. Looks like it's just this one. Status ready. Foreman's comment. Diesel engine is installed. The equipment is connected and everything is ready to be tuned. There's still issues with the manual brake. Check the carriage mounting. Oh, man, he got me too. I can't use med kits right now because if I use med kits, we're going to end up with a serious problem because we got that guy bleeding on board and we need to take care of him. We may just have to play this one real carefully. So that's locked. We gotta find the key to make that one happen. Why is there a delay? Ah, the blacksmith didn't leave any records and we can't set up mass production without him. Okay, so what are our options? Well, obviously he's too busy building the Guardian now, so I prepared a proposal for shutting down the experimental train production. What'll David say about that? Hmm. There's our key. Which looks weirdly like a Twinkie. Got me all nice and hungry now. I haven't had a Twinkie in days. Nobody in here, but we do have an extra toilet. Just in case we gotta throw something at somebody. Alright, so he's down. Let's rip the toilet out of the floor. Oh, I can't. Okay. 
Well, then let's be careful about the way we punch these guys to death. It looks like the big ones die at the exact same rate as the small ones. They must just hit harder or something. I don't know. Let's see. Status ready. Formants comment. The base is ready and waiting. Approval. Alright, big dog. I wonder if I can strong punch one of the big guys down so that I can one-shot him. Yeah, that was more rounds than I really wanted to expend, but I guess that's the way life goes sometimes. Eh, it gets them close. It doesn't one-shot them, so it looks like they got one more hit by comparison to the smaller ones. I don't think we really want to be in here, though. Although I'm not really concerned so long as we don't have to deal with... There we go. I gotta shoot him before I go behind the train and lose track of what I'm doing. Stage 4 delayed. Foreman's comments. Production is being shut down. All work in the second facility is halted. Bellus AX-02 reactor is to be placed in the isolated container for personal safety. Waiting for further instructions. This thing is dripping white shit all over the place. I can't even see this dude. I'm just swinging blindly. Swoop around this way, maybe, and see where he comes from. Or maybe I killed him. It's possible we dropped him while we were back behind the box, and you would just never really know it. Alright, so we got a dead guy right here. There's our blocker code. Exploder over there. We'll get rid of him, even though I didn't really need to. David, I understand this, but we still didn't get an operating Bellis model. Again, I sent one model north for fixing, and once it's fixed and sent back, I'll have a detailed report. We don't need to continue financing a project that is leading nowhere. You realize the price we paid for these reactors from the thousands of people that went to get them? Only seven came back. We cannot throw them away. We are currently reviewing the usage of all technologies from the first visitation zone. I'm very sorry. We need more med kits is what we need. More med kits and more bullets. We keep this up. This place has been dry as shit. Okay. Wait. What is this train? This can't be. Gunpowder and scraps right there, so that's at least a few more bullets. But by and large, this has not been a super fruitful adventure for us. 9, 4, 3, 8. As I recall, we've got somebody on board that needs vittles and somebody needs medical care. If we have two who need medical care, we've got a major issue because we just don't have that many medical supplies. Yeah, we're just out of things. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. So we're going to have to pick somebody to survive based on what loot they will give us. That guy gives us a shotgun upgrade and very little money. That guy gives us a bunch of money. So really we can call it however we want to call it. I think I'll take the money since that's more general purpose. Alright, we'll get you patched up. You're going to bleed to death. Sorry. It's just business, amigo. It's not personal. We'll drag this over to here. Then we got to make sure that this is properly vented because this is the number one killer of people in my cabin. She needs food soon. As do both of them. Armand White, the son of the great Vermin White. Okay, let's get her her food real fast. It would help out if we had, like, I don't know, some kind of flight assistance or something up here. Train assistance? I don't know what they would be called. This dude's already bleeding again. We might lose both of them, and there's really nothing I can do about it. We don't have the med kits to make it happen. I, when I, I think when I reloaded my save at the last station, I didn't buy enough med kits because I was saving money to see if I could buy some upgrades. And so we're down two med kits right now. Willow's going to die for sure. And Zimmer might. It's hard to tell. A couple more bullets for when we arrive wherever we arrive at. But yeah, he ain't going to make it. And chances are this dude on the left ain't going to make it either. So there it is. Like, it's not my job. You guys are dismembered and shit. It's not my job to, like, 
Oh, wait, I can resuscitate him? Oh, no, you can loot him. Okay, so I got 10 bucks for his clothing. That's cool. I guess that works for me. We've arrived at whatever location we're at right now. Let's see if we can make something happen. See, and I thought food was going to be the issue off this end. It was actually the med kits that were an issue. Ain't that a bitch. Boss is at the mansion. You want to do something fun? Like what? Build a snowman? I got a bottle left over from yesterday. Ooh. Now we gotta figure something out here. Come see me today. No med kits, so we'll have to be careful about our personal safety here. Hopefully we'll find enough pills and or something else to get ourselves evened out on med kits. Pistol ammo there. Dead guy up top with old books and a pencil. Guess we're hiking up a big ass mountain today. This is feeling a bit too much like my college experience. What are we doing today? Oh, walking up a big ass mountain. What do you think we we're gonna do today? One must still have chaos within oneself to give birth to a star. Like a Hollywood star? Or or like a boom boom I'm on fire in space star. I'm not sure what that did. Probably unlock that door down there. Or one of these doors. I guess I'll never know because I didn't test it. Theodore. Unfortunately, I have to decline. I'm afraid even your position and personal connections with members of the council cannot affect my decision. I must inform you that I passed your message directly to the general prosecutor. I sincerely hope that he won't spare you. Prepare to be searched. Prepare to be boarded. Reports. Prohibition of vivisection by P.D. Rai Jung. Yeah, that should be forbidden. That's one of those things that, I don't know, man. Dissecting something while it's alive still. It's a little gnarly. Food, glasses, a key. Which Aside from that, though, it looks like there's not a whole lot left inside the house. I mean, we can dive down beneath the place and see what comes out. Huh. There's trap doors under the seats like with Dr. Evil. Let me have a shotgun, please. Dead guy down here. Ain't nothing inside those crates, so don't worry about it. We'll beat him to death real fast. There is our blocker code. Perfect. Train driver's uniform inside of the... Oh, shit. What is that? Get off. Oh, my God. That thing just gave me a face hug. That thing got all up in my business. You guys better both get out of here. Good God. I don't like this place at all. If it weren't for my evaporating medical supplies, I wouldn't even be here. Got dreads and everything. Shit. There we go. A couple of med kits. Maybe even things out a little bit. Get rid of these guys with my fist just to make life a tad easier. Got plenty of health, so there shouldn't be much risk. I just don't want to get hurt by that thing. I'm constantly getting hurt by explosions in this game. So that'll take us up right there, assuming that you can break down the wall. Which we could, because we're ballers like that. But back this way, I think there was still things we hadn't verified. Like, there's still a couple rooms and whatnot over here. Like, looks like there's a sewer pipe going down this way. Dead guy's got rags and screws. Well, we got our two med kits. We might be able to get some people back. Call the sky. didn't work. You understand me? It didn't work. What didn't work? It looks like there's a giant apparatus right here and it's pouring into a tiny cup. Some kind of distillery maybe? 
I don't know. This is an odd situation. I'm not sure what to think about it. I'm gonna check this door to the left. Ah, Christ. More butt-assisted murder. You ever done butt-assisted murder before? It's not as easy as it sounds. So it looks like they had people down here. They're murdering them or doing some kind of experimentation on them, dropping them down, and they're putting them in a big vat, and they're trying to distill it into some kind of... something. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. This does not bode well. How would you like? I think that would drop your property values considerably, having just like a murder mansion up the hill from you, where they're doing all kinds of weird slaneshi type shit. I don't trust that. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're doing slaneshi stuff. They were doing like some research. Maybe we could call it Nurgle stuff then. It looks like they're researching plague or something. Well, I refuse to be anybody's Nurgling. Alright, so I need to be on this with a quickness. Let's take this med kit over here and see if we can't help this guy out. Because I think he's not doing so great. And then we've got to verify, so we've got food right here. Let's go ahead and drag one of these foods over. He needs food. Other guy is bleeding again. Jesus. What else could go wrong? There we go. You've been fed, so your health should go down a little bit slower. This thing right here. There. We've evened that out, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's craft with what we have for right now. I know gunpowder, though. Okay, well, I suppose that's just our lot in life, then. Two med kits ready to go. We might be able to get some of these people back to the next station. It just sort of largely depends on what kind of supplies we find from each location. It looks like we're in the desert now. We've gone down into the mountains and we're into the desert. That does tend to happen. That's actually a hydrological process where clouds tend to dump their payload when they go up the front side of a hill mass because they're forced into higher altitudes which are colder. It causes the water to condense and then they lose all of their water. And then on the back side, the clouds don't have anything left to dump. And so from there, you tend to have like mountain ranges, which are very fertile on one side. And on the other side, you, have, you tend to have like big, long desert valleys. There we go. Make sure we stay on top of that. He is still bleeding. Then again, he's got an arm missing, so that doesn't really surprise me that much. If I had an arm missing, I would assume that I'd be bleeding too. It's tough. As the game gets more active, I really do wish that they had like a chat bar at the bottom or something so that you could still hear the conversations. Because a lot of the times it feels like you've got to be either like an errand boy and have people die because you're paying attention to the conversation, or B, just don't pay attention to the conversation and like actually have everybody survive. We're almost out of water. I'm going to ask the commander if we can have some more. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay. That moron from the eastern base isn't getting it. I filled out a dismissal report for him. I let him return to Metropole. Erase the writing. Mm. Looks like you guys are having supply-side problems. Food, med kit, pistol ammo, I'll take it. You want none of this? You want none of this itty bitty? Get yourself popped. There we go. Save a couple of bullets on that exchange. You got me all paranoid now. Every single door that I've opened, something's run at me and tried to kill me. Jeremy, hang in there. I understand it's a hard and or it's hard and very hot. At least you will get double pension when you're retired, Mom. Well, that's not what I was going for. We'll 
we'll get them out of the way just because I saw a hatch right here. And I get the feeling that when it loops back, we're going to have to clear this area out anyways. Should bring the tank with us, though. Seems like a good plan. Who doesn't want to have a tank? It hurt me a little bit, but I'll take it. Probably could have handled those easily enough, but... La rocket is ready to launch, awaiting orders. Rags and another med kit. A rifle? Oh, cool. Is the rifle automatic? What's the difference with the rifle? Oh, the rifle just replaces the bullet. Okay, it replaces the pistol. So I don't have a pistol anymore. I've got a rifle, and hopefully they use the exact same ammunition. Christ. Did I accidentally just fire a rocket? Armand was right. There are only useless weapons here. Ah, uh, hello. No, thank you. We don't need to go to Metropole yet. Good luck to you, too. I'll take this pistol ammo, though. In a heartbeat. Let's find some targets to test this thing on. I wonder if it hits harder. Maybe it's automatic? I don't know. Looks like it's got some vague penetration value, too. Come on. There we go. Solved that problem about as well as I could have hoped for. I don't think I could search the doorways. That would have been easier. I was wondering if the doors were going to bust in, but I didn't bring the canister with me because I'm an idiot. All right. Off to the left we go. We got more than enough med kits to make our run now. Oh man, it doesn't hit as hard as the pistol. I don't think anyways. Can I get my pistol back? Because I got a feeling that this isn't quite as good. Still takes their heads off easily enough, I guess. Holds a lot more in the mag though. 3947. I was going to blow everything up, but uh, alright. Lots and lots of wounded people with me. Let's get the hell out of here before this gets any worse. I don't think the situation is going to elevate itself much further than it already has. My name is Blattercat. We are out of time for the day. I will see you all later. If you wanted to get final train or final station for yourself, go ahead and check it out down below. I got a linky linky for you just in case you like to clicky clicky. We made it back with our health intact, and that's just about all you can ask for on a good day. I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi to everybody.